Hey everybody, I just want to take two seconds before we jump into the video to make a quick announcement. Uh, next week on Saturday, December the 5th, I'm going to be doing a live stream for the Stanley Parable. I figure it'd be a fun game to actually play uh, live and actually have some kind of interaction with people and maybe have them make some of the choices going through the game with me. Um, I'm also going to try and make it into a drinking game. So I'm thinking either every time it resets, I take a shot or every time he says my name, or something like that, take a sip of beer. I'm not sure yet. I'm still figuring it out. I'm also not sure what time it's going to be, but I'm going to be letting you know that as soon as I can. And uh, with that being said, let's just jump right to the video. I've honestly got no idea what to do right now. Oh my god. What is up, gangsters and gangsterettes? Welcome to another episode of Amnesia Rebirth. Um, I got a confession to make before I jump into this episode. I already recorded the episode for this one, or so I thought I did. I apparently forgot to hit the record button and played for about a half hour. So, to sum it up, I got chased by a bunch of the rakes running all the way back to the portal. It was actually really intense. I'm very sad I didn't record that part. Um, I got the portal working, and as I turned it on to actually warp out of there, uh, those red gooey balls started showing up on the ground and it apparently f***ed up the teleporter and sent me to the alien temple research facility, whatever. It's a different one than was uh, than earlier. Um, I ended up finding an x-ray machine type thing and it ran an x-ray of my body. I got to see my baby. It looked normal, but the machine started beeping red saying there was something wrong with it. And then I saw the little blue alien pop up again. And it basically told me my baby was sick, had a sickness, you know, whatever that is, I don't know. Um, but it said to follow it and I could hopefully do something about my baby, you know, and help it, he, it within the walls of where I was at in that alien uh, research facility. So that's kind of where I got to before I ended the episode and went to go stop the recording and realized I wasn't recording. So I'm going to play again for another half hour to record another episode. And I've actually started recording this time. Let me just double check that I'm also not talking all this and, you know, nothing's getting recorded. No, we're good. Um, so, yeah, that's that's an on me. I, I definitely f***ed up, but that was basically what happened in the last episode. So now we're in that alien research facility. We know there's something wrong with the baby and this blue alien wants to help out. So let's just jump into the episode now and see where we get to. Previously on Amnesia Rebirth, Tezzy Trianon, alone, heavily pregnant and gradually turning into a monster, is trying to reach a desert town and the survivors of her expedition. Thrown by mischance into another world, she has learned that her child is gravely ill and that this world may hold a solution to the illness. Yeah, I'll try not to bring it up too much that I like messed up the recording, but I, I'm not going to lie. I'm very upset that I didn't record it. It really sucks. And if it was a smaller game, I'd have just replayed from the beginning to get back to where I was. But I'm not doing that for this one. I've, I'd be so I'd be sitting here all day playing. So I came from here. This was a door. And now we're here. We're trying to find where this alien thing is taking me to try and fix my baby. I don't know if I can go through. This place is some sort of station, I think. There you go. We're at a station of some sort. I guess I'm going through here. All right. Some weird noises. Um. Okay. Just uh, walking through some empty alien tunnels. Heard a roar. You know, just nothing, nothing unusual going on here. Come on, we're running out of lamp fluid. I really don't like that sound. Also, I was wondering when I was doing the other one if. Uh, it's actually gonna help me out, or if there's something more play like it Pops got my baby my somehow. Delivers constant chatter about the honeycomb he found. Fila, little face, serious, tongue stuck out as she draws in the earth with a stick. Hermia catches the boy up in her arms. 
and flashes me a tired smile. I too am tired, but I am grateful for this day. So that sounds like... It's a memory, I think. What's this one? It is time. I hold her down, stroking her neck. She is oblivious, nuzzling at me. I thank her for her company, for her comfort, for her nourishment. Red ahead. I cut her throat swiftly. She complains, but it does not take long. I catch the blood in a clay pot. She will save us this winter. Who is she? Is that a person or was that an animal? I don't know. Either way, I don't really like it. Oof. Okay. I think... Oh, this is no... What can, is it, can I read this? What the hell? Okay, is this the anatomy of these people that lived here? The aliens? I say aliens. They might just be like... A, they all, again, alternate dimension. Um, that's a nice crotch shot there. Hello, alien. Here, this is the place I can help Amari. The time is life against sickness. What do I have to do? Create the time. Sit. Be healed. Okay. Now I don't trust it. The energy that powered the portal. Right, because that was so easy to find last time. Don't Cause worry, Amari. I want to say something here. There must be a here. way to make it here, or she wouldn't have said it. So, I had somebody tell me, who played or seen at least the original uh, Dark Descent, that if somebody offered me Vitae, that I should say no. So, I really am in a bind. Because I kind of don't want to do that, but at the same time, I don't think I'm going to have a choice. She promised aid. Within these walls, she said. Yeah, I don't know. Spit a light this way. We'll go this way first. Where are we at? I really don't need to light that. That's the station. station again. Cool. Can't do anything here. Move it on. What's in here? Um. Uh, it's all leading up to that face that I've that I keep seeing. Oh, we got a note. Under the sign of Olan, on the eighth rise at the second calling, I, Tia T, make this record. The Vitae flow has reached equilibrium across the network as a result of the adjustments to Factory 6. This is in line with recent calculations and indicates that we will indeed have more than sufficient flow to sustain the Empress and meet the demands of the populace until the new factories are connected 100 rises from now. So recorded in her name, Eternal. There's been a lot less notes right now, so I don't mind reading them now. This is, as long as, like, they're not constant, you'll see me read them. If they keep showing up, though, I'm going to be editing out me reading those, and you can read them yourself. I don't think there's anything over there. I'm just... This place is huge. I honestly don't even know if I'm going the right way. I don't know what I am doing. The hell is this? There's someone in there. Still alive. And that's how we're getting the Bataille. Oh, more notes. God, that noise. Under the sign of Edu, on the twelfth rise, at the second calling, I, Atharu, make this record. The cycle of replenishing is now as follows. One application of elixir, a flower of emerish, that the memories of the pain be erased. Application of extracted materials to raise level of inda above indicated indication level that the subject's potential be maximized. So recorded in her name eternal. 
Uh, some matches right at the throat. Oh, another memory thing. It is the first time I have seen him in a week. And it is as if ten years have bent his spine, sapping the flesh and the color from his cheeks. His eyes are red-rimmed. They will not meet mine. Fear grips my heart and starts to squeeze. Son, he says, she is with the gods now. So is that this guy's daughter that they uh, cut her throat? Oh, we got three notes. And one that's going to get read to me. So let's just hop into this. I'll read them. Why not? Subject 1145SV. Initial extraction indicates worker class with a familial structure consisting of a partner and two offspring at the time of capture. High potential yield. Per protocol, focus further extraction on early contact with partner. Informative years of offspring. In addition, typical strong memories relate to capture location and parental connection. So they're extracting memories? Is that what they're doing? Let me, let me, thank you. Subject 1144 SP. Initial extraction indicates worker class, no immediate family, but a strong connection to a single individual. Average potential yield further or focus further extraction on contacts with that individual. Ignore all pre adult memories, as no familiar connections typically indicate no positive material to use. Uh, subject 1143 SV. Initial extraction indicates subservient class, no immediate family, low potential yield. Focus further extraction on earliest memories, but also consider discard. Eek. Mad scientist going on here. Under the sign of Edu on the fourth rise at the second calling, I, Athari, make this record. Research into the revised chamber has led to a breakthrough. Introducing the memory capsules allows for a more intense reaction to the pain, rising to a mm. tensor level of 17 immediately. So I shiver go down my Subjects spine. Subjects no longer rapidly burn out. Our supply problem is solved. Direct stimulation of the nerves, followed by a dose of elixir of emerish, followed by an application of the subject's own best memory. To view it another way, fear, oblivion, hope. Fear, oblivion, hope. It's so simple. Without fear, there is no vitae. Without hope, there is no fear. So record it in her name eternal. Jesus. So, man. This was a f***ed up place. Like where all these people lived. It was just real, real messed up. What is this? Nope. Yes, baby. I'm so sorry, my love. I should have known you were here. Okay. I guess I go through this way. Oh, it's a chair. Oh, look at them. I wonder who they were. Oh. I need to tell you about Alice, little one. They, uh, they do look she like just people. Sister. For a while, oh. in our little rooms in Paris, it was just the three of us. She loved stories. And she loved to play the part. She. She's with your father now. And you're with me. Oh, and uh, <laughs> there was Maka. Alice's toy monkey. His name was Maka. Okay. I him here. I'm sure she'd love him to be yours. Maka. I like it. Oh, I found the battery. I could actually push this chair. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember where I needed this. Well. Bring it with me, because obviously I gotta go back this way with it. Ah! God, that actually like hurt me. Ow. Okay. Ouch. Stop powering. This guy. I'm sorry. I have nowhere to help you. Oh! Oh! 
Oh no, 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 no. That was from the beginning. That light. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. Oh sh What is that? Holy crap. So it's just gonna keep floating around in here? I kinda want it to go away. Oh. I don't know if it went away or if it just like turned off the light. Yeah, it just turned off the light thing. I didn't get very far. That noise. Whoa. I've honestly got no idea what to do right now. Oh my god. Um. That's probably the thing that turned all those people to stone. I don't know if that even made any noise to draw it. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think I need to go get that battery. Don't you, don't you, don't you do it. Got it. Ow! How am I supposed to get it up here if it just knocks itself out of my hands? Uh oh. Uh oh. Jesus H. Christ. Dude, that thing is so creepy looking. Disappeared somewhere. Okay, okay. We can get the battery. We can get the battery. We can get the battery. Which I think is right here. I seriously don't even know where I'm supposed to bring this. Oh my god. Yes, baby. Baby Amari. Alright, we'll teleport it again. It's somewhere else, I think. I hope. I still don't know where I'm supposed to bring this. I think we need to leave. I'm getting out of here. I hope to God I had to leave there. Oh. Oh, sh it's still coming. Give me this.
So connect those two, I guess, maybe? Oh my god, that was ridiculous. So I just gave that one power. Okay, so I gotta go back down there now. What I'm doing? I don't know. Oh, I think this is how the bitai gets made. I need a jar, I think, here. This is how they got vitae. These machines, they inflict pain, and vitae comes out. Yup. Oh, little one. That's what I'll have to do if I want to make you better. Is it, though? Is it? I do not like the look of these. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where did that spider looking thing go? Shh, ah, there it is. Okay. I got it hooked onto that one. Okay, I get it. Oh my god, this is this is diabolical, honestly. Um, there was a picture of one of these, right? That showed what where it went where. Yeah, those are just four daggers on those things. And that thing's got the spider thing. Oh, I'm gonna have to move okay, 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 okay. I get it. I think I get it. So I got that spider thing in, so I should be able to do the liquid one. Take that out. Put that in. Then. I'm sorry, man. Do that. Uh Looks like we have become the bad side. Oh, hold on. I gotta probably pull this now, don't I? Oh, I gotta hold it up? Okay, well, first... I'm sorry, man. I feel so bad for this guy. I am so sorry, my friend. I don't even know how long that's supposed to last. I don't know. Fuck no. Oh, I gotta wait for all these little lights to light up. Very sorry. That's terrible. That's it, I think. That's enough. Oh, and he's just gone. What for a gamble? Just a chance. Fuck. Oh, actually. This. This will cure Amaria. She needs me time. I wonder if I could actually have just left without doing this. Probably could have. But, you know, curiosity killed the cat. I never played the Dark Descent. So, I would think she'd be trying to help mostly. I don't know. After seeing all the shit these people do to people, or the others, I, w I don't actually trust it. This is not going to go well for me. 
for you, Amari. I, uh, I'm not so sure about this. Ah! God, I hate needles. I, I absolutely hate needles. <laughs> this honestly might be the scariest part for me. We're leaving now. I'm gonna grab that uh, train looking thing and get the hell out of Dodge. Just gonna run through here after getting my belly filled up with Vitae. Right. Let's see if this thing works. Oh, well, please let it work. I can't do this. Oh, right. I probably gotta do that. Okay. Oh, that was a wild episode. So I had to cut this one because I played a little bit too long. And honestly, if I had left it, it was going to be a really long video. And it's already pushing it as it is. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun little ride. I hope I did right by my baby. I'm really not sure at this point. It could go either way. I'm pretty sure I may have like just f***ed up, but who knows? So anyways, I do hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you on Monday for the next Amnesia Rebirth episode. So till then, have a great time and I'll see you then. Peace.